Hello everyone, today's video is going to be about how I set up my 18 month planner to be actually a 21 month planner. I will be adding a April, May, and June to the 18 month calendar because this is my first time using a classic size happy planner and I was too excited to wait until July. The only thing I didn't like about the extension pack uh, was that the tabs were not foiled, but it's okay because I mean, it doesn't matter. I think I'm going to be removing them after each month month passes. Um, here I am just dating my calendar. I've heard most people don't like adding the numbers to the calendar, but I actually do. I find it very relaxing and somehow I get lost in my thoughts and then I'm done. I did not want to bore you guys with <laughs> me adding all the numbers to the rest of the month, so I skipped that and I just went straight to me adding the months to the planner. This is the moment where I was really excited because I will get to carry around this planner everywhere with me. I've only used the Big Happy Planner so far this year, yeah, because I just got into planning recently and this is my first plan with me video, so please bear with me. This is my planner after I was done adding the months. I feel like it looks really cute. This is where I begin to decorate the days that I know for sure I have an event to go to. Of course, Easter Sunday, family thing, you know, don't really celebrate it, but it's alright. I'll go eat some good food. April in general is just a busy month for our family. The next day that I have to decorate or make note of is April 5th. My mother-in-law will be having surgery that day, so I definitely, definitely need to write that down. My monthly view is one of the hardest things to decorate because I don't know events right away. They kind of just start coming up throughout the month. But an event that I do know that's going to be happening is Phoenix Pride. Yay! So exciting! I go every year, by the way. The one event that I'm really looking forward to that I've never gone to is the Phoenix Night Market in downtown. I have never been there. I know there was one last year. So when I saw that tickets were on sale, I immediately purchased mine and said, we going babe, we are going. The month of April is full of birthdays in our family. I can't even keep up. I know that the 30th is my sister-in-law's birthday. I know the 25th is my wife's birthday and her brother's birthday. And then on the 28th is my father-in-law's birthday. And somewhere at the beginning of the month is my wife's sister and then her son, which I can't even remember. I think my sister-in-law's son's birthday is going to be on the 14th, but I didn't want to jot anything down until I was certain. Here I'm just showing you guys how it ended up looking, but I'm going to work on my sidebar and just add a little bit of stickers there. I was looking for the perfect sticker for my monthly view because I wanted it to look very colorful and this sticker definitely did the job. I needed to add some kind of tab where I can write down all the events that are going to be happening that haven't happened or that you know will happen in the month of April. For the last part of this video I will be just writing down all of the names and things you know of the events that I did decorate for. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I don't know if I did a good job at this plan with me video, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I personally like when people talk on their videos. So that's why I decided to talk on this video, you know, so you guys can decorate with me while I talk. I don't know if that makes any sense. Again, this is my first time doing this video. And yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys later. And yes, by the way, I did write suegro wrong. Suegro is father-in-law, but um, yeah. Bye.